Good afternoon. I'm Joe Zelenka of the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I would like to welcome everyone here to the Touchdown Club. We're very excited to have you here for this monumental occasion. You guys are about to see some things that you've never, ever seen before. So ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen help me welcome Jaguars CEO and Chairman, Mr. Wayne Weaver. Thank you. After been 15 years in this, in this, uh, in this, uh, the NFL, that we should establish a more permanent identity, one that we could say is is timeless, and it represents every time someone sees us on television, this is who we are. Every team in the NFL has an opportunity to have a third jersey. Uh, the teams that have been around 40, 50 years and more have a throwback uniform. Sometimes the coaches and the players decide, well, once a year you can use that third jersey, so tonight we're going to play with all black. And over time, when you take all those kind of different liberties and changes, you really do water down your image to some degree. And we felt that it was uh, with all these evolutionary changes that, that uh, have taken place that we, we had lost some of our identity, and we felt that uh, we wanted to get that back. And I thought for a moment I'd show you on the screen behind me some of the evolution of those uniforms for the past 14 years. So as you can see, that uh, it was time to, to look back and say, who are we? We've always said our primary mark was the cathead. And so we challenge the creative staff of the National Football League to say, come help us really tweak our uniforms, our logos, and establish something that's timeless that's going to stand the test of time over the next 50 years. We, th we think we've taken our logo and, and tweaked it in a way that it gives it a little bit of a modern flair, but still a classic look, and one that we think will stand the test of time. <laughs> they are foundation logo. And I think it's just the update of the uh, logo with, and the focal point of being on the children is, is appropriate. I appreciate it, uh, Wayne, and everybody for being here. It's, uh, it's an exciting time to be involved um, with, with this unveiling. And I think when you look at uh, the wor word mark there along with the logo, and where we're going uh, in reestablishing our identity, that ties right into where we are as a football team on the field. In addition to the new foundation logo and the new team logo, we have a new helmet, which I'm sure you are all going to see in a brand new light. Great. We're making a little bit of history today. Um, the first time ever for any NFL helmet, bar none, uh, we're adding an optical element to the helmet that is in the form of a chromatic pigment that gives it its like glitter and mirror-like effect. We've been able to introduce this product called Spectra Flare Bright Silver into the helmet, the face mask, and the um, ink in the decal. Big men in tight pants walking the runway. You're not going to see this kind of stuff in Paris or New York. This is a Jacksonville exclusive. But before we bring out the new uniform, I want to invite Chris Gallo from Reebok to step forward and to tell me a little bit about the process. Chris, you and your team from Reebok have been going through this process with the team and the NFL for over a year now. Let me see. I want to see what this looks like. I am, I'm excited. Chris, you might want to step back. I'm excited, too. Ladies and gentlemen, Maurice Jones-Drew, number 32. First, first thing I notice is that the numbers and the lettering is completely different. It's it's like our like our new logo. Yep. What, why the change? Just more modern? Well, it's more. It's you know again a clean classic look. Chris, talk a little bit about how it being so tight is going to be better for the players on the field. They can't be held. They can't be, you know, Rasheen and Scott. Yeah. They get held a lot out there. Been Less people... grab because of the the compression fit again. Um, just a better contour to the body, and again, less weight. And we've also reduced a lot of the fabrications, if you notice, that we had in the past, where there's no side panels, but a really clean, classic look to it. Let's see who else we got back there. 
Oh, here it is. Reggie Nelson. David Gerard, ladies and gentlemen, to, to finish our runway model. Looking absolutely stunning. Well, again, I like to look at this uniform si system as a classic revolution. Uh, we looked at the old system, and we wanted to, of course, keep it clean and keep it classic, uh, classic and timeless. That was very important. But we also wanted to bring the best technologies that we can offer to the football field. See, there's one guy who likes to be on. Keep going, Greg. Get out there. Everybody get out there. All y'all get out there. Don't let Maurice take all the glory for this. So we're offering, in this whole new uniform system, uh, new technologies. We've reduced the weight of the jersey 30% from the uniform of last year, which is real important. It's going to be more of a compression fit from a performance standpoint. All moisture management. We partnered with this company, and we have this new technology called Cold Black. The fabric will not retain heat, so it'll be 10 degrees less in uh, heat compared to the fabrication without. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, you know, it really feels like a t-shirt, you know, if you think about the uh, dry fit t-shirts that are out now, it really fits and feels like that. Yeah. Linemen never care how they look, they just get out there and, and slop around in the, in, the, in the trenches, but uh, you know, as skill guys, we, we definitely think about it a little bit more, and we always feel like we look better than we play better. Correct. Yeah. Look, try. Yeah, you can't really grab, no. Is that right? Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's nice. Yeah. So, yeah.